Hey all, Max here from Kinship Digital and today we'll be going through macros and in particular we'll be going through how to use a macro to assign a message to a particular user. Now for those of you that don't know what a macro is, it's simply a collection of actions that are used simultaneously at the touch of a button. So let's get into it. Go to administration, settings, the hamburger menu and then macros. The macro we'll be creating is to assign content to other users. To create this macro, click on Add Macro in the top right hand corner. Give your macro a name. For us, it'll be Assign User Content. Now select what you'd like to apply your macro on. Here's a list of options and for us, we'll be applying it on a message. Adding a description will help you remember the purpose of the macro. We won't for this example, but please feel free to do so in your own environment. In Set Actions, you have two options being automatic and manual. This determines whether the actions taken by the macro are performed automatically or selected at the user's discretion. We'll focus on automatic for this video. Click Add Action. Assign to Select the value. This will bring up a list of all sprinkler users. Select the one that you want this macro to assign to. For us, in this case, it's content approval. The purpose of a macro is to perform multiple actions at once, so we'll add another action. Click Add Action, select Status, and select the appropriate status for the message. In this case, We'll be assigning this to a user to take an action on, so it'll be open. You can add more, but we'll stay at two. As mentioned before, we'll only focus on automatic actions for this example. A related macro is the option to trigger a pre-existing macro once the macro we're creating is activated. For example, if the macro we are creating was used to close a message, we could add a related macro to close the relevant case. For this example, we won't be using a related macro. Click Add. Now to go see the macro in action. Go Engagement, Monitoring Dashboards, and go to the relevant dashboard. Typically, this is a universal inbox. Now click on the messages that you want to assign to another user. If they're in a row, select the first message, hold Shift, and select the last message in the chain. Alternatively, if you're on a Mac, you can click on one message, hold Command, and select another message individually. Now notice that these are not assigned and not set yet. Not set and not assigned. Click on the macro sign and select the relevant macro. For us, it's assign user content. If you look at these messages, you notice that it's been to assign to content approval and the status has been set to open. Hope you liked that video. If you have any suggestions for future videos, chuck them in the comments below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Bye.